students, how are you today? I hope you are ready to start our lesson. Today we are going to learn about Charles Dickens. Before starting our lesson, let's learn new words. Social critic, social critic, memorable, memorable, debtor's prison, debtor's prison, fame, fame, to move, to move, to provide, to provide, to praise, to praise, to bury, to bury, to obtain, to obtain. Charles Dickens was an English writer and social critic. He created some of the world's most memorable fictional characters and is considered to be one of the greatest novelists. He was born on February 7, 1812 in Portsmouth, England. His father was an office man who worked hard to provide for his family. Charles had many brothers and sisters. In 1822, when he was 10, his family moved to London where his father got into debtor's prison. After that, Charles left school to work in a factory. For two years, he worked in a dirty room, passing labels on bottles. Then he went to school for three more years. He had little formal education, but still succeeded in life. Over his career, he wrote 50 novels. Five novelists, hundreds of short stories and non-fiction articles. He also worked for 20 years as an editor in a weekly journal. Dickens' other merits include complaints for children's rights, education and other social reforms. He obtained international attention and fame in 1836 with a series of publications called Big Week Papers. He used to be a young and poor reporter at that time who immediately became a famous writer. Dickens published many other novels later, among them Oliver Twist, Tom Bay and Son, David Copperfield and many others. His books are rather interesting to read. He mostly wrote about the hard life of poor people in Victorian England. Even though he lived more than a hundred years ago, people still read his books with pleasure. One of his most influential works ever written was a Christmas Carol novella. His fellow writers of that time highly praised his literary genius. Let us story George Orwell, Chesterton, Drew among them. Charles Dickens died on June 9, 1870. He was buried in Poets' Corner in with Mr. Abbey. Now, dear students, Answer the questions. Who was Charles Dickens? Charles Dickens was an English writer and social critic. Where was he born? He was born in Portsmouth, England. When was he born? He was born on February 7th, 1812. When did his family move to London? In 1822, when he was 10, his family moved to London. What were some of his stories?
His stories are Oliver Twist, Tom Bay and Son, David Copperfield and many others. Great job, you are well done. Now I want to give you your homework. Your home task is watching the video 7 facts about Charles Dickens and retell it. Here are 7 curious facts about literary legend Charles Dickens. 1. Dickens always slept facing north because he thought it would help him battle his incessant insomnia. Dickens also wrote while facing north because he felt it would stimulate his creativity. 2. Charles Dickens was almost killed in a train accident. In June of 1865, Dickens was on his way to deliver the latest installment of the novel Our Mutual Friend to his publisher when the train he was riding in derailed. Dickens escaped unharmed. In a unique coincidence, Dickens passed away exactly five years to the day after this railway incident. 3. The Oxford English Dictionary credits Dickens for coining several words and phrases in his work. Examples include a buzz, the creeps, flummox, and devil may care. 4. Charles Dickens and his wife Catherine had ten children, and Dickens had a nickname for each child. These nicknames included Chicken Stalker, Lucifer Box, and Skittles. One can only assume how Charles' children earned these imaginative nicknames. 5. Dickens was fascinated with hypnotism and often experimented on his wife, children, and friends. He believed hypnotism could be used to cure physical ailments and anxieties. 6. Some scholars believe Dickens suffered from obsessive compulsive disorder. People who knew him said Dickens constantly combed his hair, rearranged furniture, and looked at himself in the mirror. 7. Dickens said that his eighth novel, David Copperfield, was his favorite. He also said it was the most biographical. Our lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.